Music Stories for Juniors by Stuart Mannins. Number five, Sew Me at the Pole. Sew me. Somebody was calling from the top of the hill. So me knew who it was without looking around. It was his big brother Lamy, who was one year older. He had got out of school later than So me, and had run fast to catch up. So me, the call was much louder now and came from close by. Got you, said Lamy, grabbing his younger brother by the arm. When the two brothers stood side by side, Lamy's head was higher than Somi's. Lamy had the letters L and M on his school bag. They stood for his name, Lamy. Dad had written the L just a little bit higher, because Lamy was just a little bit taller. They walked along the road until they found an odd-shaped bottle lying in the gutter. So me thought he saw it move up and down, so he watched closely. The brothers looked in amazement as the bottle began to dance. I think I'm going balmy," said So me when the bottle stopped moving. Lamy pounced on the bottle and slowly pulled out the cork. I am the genie of wishes," said a voice, and out of the bottle came a little creature, with sparkling eyes, and spiky hair. It sang, "So me la me, you're not ba me. I was in a fix. Oh, you have found a way to charm me. I'll show you some tricks. Wow." I wish I could get away from here," said So me. "Name the place, and you're there," replied the genie. "You have three wishes. Let's go somewhere really exciting. Let's go to the hot, steamy jungle in the middle of the world." So they shut their eyes tight, and flew to the hot, steamy jungle in the middle of the world. Mosquitoes dive bombed them by day, and bats clawed at them during the long, still nights. All the time they were being watched by angry tigers, whose eyes shone in the darkness. Their growling got louder and louder. It's too hot here. I'm getting scared," said So me. "All right then," replied Lamy. "Let's go to the North Pole." Why there? Asked the genie. Because it's a lot colder, and I don't think tigers live in the ice and snow. So they closed their eyes tight, and flew to the North Pole. Everywhere they looked, there were bare patches. They got colder, brrr, and colder, brrr, and colder, brrr. With chattering teeth, the genie sang, "So me la me, you alarm me. This ain't very nice. Brr, we get colder and get older sitting on the ice. Brr, I've had enough," said both boys together. So closing their eyes, they wished themselves back on the way home from school. When they opened their eyes, the bottle and the genie had gone. I can whistle," said Lamy. He went, <whistles> so me looked up at him with wide eyes. And made a strange huffy sound with his lips. <laughs> he wished he could whistle more than anything else in the world, so he decided 
to practice every 